Whether you love it or hate it, there is no denying that Upwork is currently one of the largest freelancing platforms out there. Whether you're a client looking to hire or a freelancer looking to get hired, you'll surely find something there that fits your needs. I myself have been on a platform for the past 10 years, so I've seen the good, the bad, and the ugly, and today I'm just saying fuck it. I'm sharing the three things I hate about the platform, and that if I could flip a switch and change them, I would. But yeah, I have some tea to spill in this video, so let's go. So if you've seen any of my past videos this one will be no surprise to you and that is connect yes. i know everyone hates connect as much as me currently if you don't know if you've been living under a rock a port gives us 10 free connects a month but then a lot of jobs if not most of them are now requiring 16 connects to apply and this baffles me because 16 connects is about a dollar fifty that's not too much in the grand scheme of things, but it feels like gambling because if you don't get hired, you won't see those back. And that's another thing that I talked about in a recent reels. I'll put it right here. I was just having a chat with a friend of mine um, about Upwork Connects and I thought I would share my thoughts with you all. I think Upwork is kind of getting greedy. <laughs> Here's the thing, when Upwork first introduced Connects, I was all for it. It was a lot of copy and paste proposals, but now it's just getting too expensive. So if you don't know, they give us 10 free Connects per month. And um, there's like a lot of jobs that require you to... Sorry for the goats in the background, by the way, I'm here with them. But there are a lot of jobs that require 16 connects to submit a proposal, and that's just a lot. Would there be a way for Upwork to still limit the amount of proposals a freelancer sent without, you know, just making us go poor? Because especially if you're just starting out, it's really hard to justify paying for connects. What if with every job you apply to, you got your connects back after say a month and you'd still have a limited amount of connects per month and jobs would still cost x connects to apply so essentially you wouldn't be able to apply to all the jobs you want uh, or all the jobs you see uh, without buying more connects do you like this idea would you like upwork to just refund us connects no matter what whether the job was closed whether they hired someone i feel like after 30 days they could refund us back so we'd still have a limit of connects that we could spend each month but they would renew next month so we still have to be careful about them but we wouldn't just go poor but then aside from just applying to jobs there's the boosting situation and i've seen some crazy boosts out there i talked about it in this video so i'm not gonna rant too much about it again but seriously 45 dollars you're spending 45 dollars to apply to a job like i hope that person got it and i know that's not the only person that did it but is it really worth it does that come through as dedication and interest or does it kind of lean into desperation mode i'm just not sure about it and obviously the latest one that i have serious beef with is the availability badge i don't like it i turn it on and my views dropped i didn't see any benefit from it if anything i saw the opposite so i would risk saying don't do it but if you want to try it try it out but do it at your own risk. Oh, and by the way, let me know down in the comments if you'd like to see me try Freelancer Plus. You know, the paid feature of Upwork. I think it's like $15 a month. I'm currently trying that out and I'm happy to do a video on my experience if you'd like. So let me know down in the comments. But enough about connects. The second thing I hate about Upwork is their refund slash mediation process. Now... I used to think this was great because the first time it happened to me was like back in 2015 and from what I recall, I may be completely wrong, but I did get paid for that job still. I'm not entirely sure if it was 100% or not or if they went 50-50, but I remember I was not mad at the situation. It was also a low value, so it was like 75 bucks if I'm not mistaken. 
But if you don't know how it happens on Upwork when a client asks for a refund, Upwork will reach out to both parties and hear you both out. You can explain why you don't think they should have a refund and show all the work that you've done, show all the proof. And then Upwork suggests something to both of you. In my case, and I actually shared my experience in a past video, so I'll link it wherever it is. But in my case, they suggested we go 50-50, which on a $1,200 project uh, meant I only made $600 for like a lot of work. And the thing is, you don't have to agree with this 50-50 or whatever other thing that Upwork suggests in your case. If just one of you, whether it's you or the client, if you want to keep all the money, for example, you need to pay for arbitration and arbitration is like the next step up and they basically their decision is final let's say i'm the freelancer and i pay i believe it's 300 something dollars for arbitration i can come out of it with the 1200 dollars in my case but i can also come back from it and the client gets all the money back <laughs> and i didn't want to risk it but yeah, needless to say, I kind of had a bad experience with it. I don't know if this was a one-off thing because again, in 10 years, it only happened to me twice that someone asked for a refund. So I'm super thankful for that. But just be careful because Upwork may suggest you to go 50-50 and split the money with the client. <laughs> yeah, let's move on <laughs> before I get too mad about this. The next thing I hate about Upwork is the scams. Now, I'm gonna say, I know, scams are not Upwork's fault, and they actually alert you quite a lot about like, you know, being careful about scams and whatnot. I've seen pop-ups in my messages tab on Upwork. I've seen them talk about that in emails. So they are trying, but I just feel like they could be trying a little bit harder. And I mean, I don't know. Who doesn't hate scams, right? It's nothing new. We could even do something fun here. Hit the like button below if you hate scams. Dislike button if you love scams. Don't get it confused. Like for hate, thumbs down for love. But seriously, the way that scammers just think they're just smarter than everyone else and that they can take advantage of anyone they want just irks me. Like, I hate it with a passion. And the thing is, they take advantage of people that just don't know their tricks and they are good manipulators. So it's not that the person is dumb. If you've been scammed before, you're not dumb. They are just really good at their job. But that annoys the crap out of me, especially because the scammers, they are putting, you know, I won't say it's the hardest job on the planet if it even can be called a job, but all the effort they are putting into it and all the skills that they do have some skills actually they could be putting that into a freelance job or a regular job these people are tech savvy they could be doing you know they could be making money legally but instead they waste their time and these kinds of things and it just i don't like it and again this isn't upwork's fault but I definitely think they could implement some things that wouldn't be that hard on their end that could make this problem just happen a lot less often, including like blocking links in job posts. I know they delete them when they see them, but just blocking them altogether, it, it can be that hard, right? Blocking links, blocking the word telegram, blocking the word WhatsApp, it just irks me, you know? You see all the signs if you know what to look out for, but some people don't. And I can only speak to those who are finding my videos. And oftentimes I get comments that say, I wish I saw this video sooner. I just got scammed and it breaks my heart. And I, I wish I could be there for them sooner, but I just don't know how. So if I can ask you one thing in this video, I know I've asked for likes and stuff like that in comments, but if I can ask for one thing in this video, I'll link my scam playlist down below and I'll add a video card at the end of this, but just share it with whoever you can, uh, especially in the freelance world, but can be outside of it because I know these types of scams don't just happen to freelancers. 
but just share it with as many people as you can. Not just because you're giving me views. Honestly, the best reward is to know that I stopped someone from being, being scammed before it was too late. So please have me out on that journey and let's put a stop to all of these crap heads. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, in the meantime, while Upwork doesn't do anything to stop these scams or does the bare minimum, does the bare minimum, or does the bare minimum, check out this video so you know what to look out for. And like I said, try to share it with as many people as possible. I really appreciate it and I'll see you in my next one.